Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome back to Project Pearl. Today is MOT day. Bonnet's up. Just got a few little bits to do. Um, nothing much, but we'll show you what we've got to do and then what we'll do is we'll come back later on when we get back from the MOT. MOT is at uh, 1.45 today. So uh, plenty of time of literally probably half an hour, if that, on this car. Uh, and then we're going to start on the new project, um, which you've already seen the walk around for. So today is a freezing cold day. As you can see, I've got my hat on, roll on summer, but let's get on with the car, get it ready for the MOT, let's go. I bought a dehumidifier and I've had it in there for a few hours and then I had it in there all day yesterday and that's all it's collected, virtually nothing, which I'm surprised about, especially because the weather's a bit like this and as you can see, condensation on the outside. Oh, actually, look, as you can see, that's condensation on the inside. So why is that not sucking any moisture out? I've also got the bags on the dashboard there, which I guess are doing their job, but I mean, these cars do suffer from condensation on the inside really badly. I don't know why. I always put it down to the glass roof, but I think, yeah, I've got the blind closed on there. So, although my BMW was a bit on the inside as well yesterday, so it's just that type of weather, I think, really. But yeah, so MOT day. Um, we've got a couple of things to do. I am gonna, because this has got the wrong battery in it, the battery is a bit moving around, so that would, I'm not sure that would fail the MOT, but it will certainly come up as an advisory. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll put a couple of twists in this cable, in, in the strap, just to tighten it up and then retighten it back down again. <clears throat> so that doesn't come up as an issue. Um, I don't, I've got two new batteries now, cause as you know, I think I told you I ordered the wrong battery. I've got the replacement battery there. I've still got the other one because the couriers are messing around picking it up for a refund, but I bought that one as well. That was quite cheap. It's only a Lion one, but that was quite cheap on um, uh, car parts for less. So um, I thought, that, you know what, let's just buy it because um, I always need them. So so I may, I may well change it. It depends, again, on the MOT. Um, yeah, if, it, if I sell it on eBay, I'll definitely be leaving that battery in. If I sell it to the, the woman that messaged me recently, then uh, I'll probably change it. Uh, so yeah, so what have we got to do? Uh, I'm just going to check the oil. I think the oil's okay. Not that it's anything to do with the MOT, of course, but uh, I'm just going to check that. Um, we think this has been serviced, don't we? I still need to call up the garage that's on that um, receipt I've got, the 400 and something pounds receipt I've got, which I reckon is the can belt, but might, might have been a service as well, because I think it's been serviced recently. <clears throat> I need to look back at my videos, because I can't remember. Normally when I do that, when I first get them and that, you know, I'll, I'll have... I'll, I'll change the air filter or look at the air filter. And I can't remember what this one was now, so I'll have to look back rather than taking it off. But that's I think that's always a good indication of whether the car was serviced. Although as some people have quite rightly said, you don't necessarily change the air filter at the same time because they're something like two years. But generally I always change them. But that would explain why sometimes the oil looks a little bit new, but the air filter looks like it needs changing. That would make sense because when it was oil changed, it wasn't done. An air filter, it just seems a bit daft to me, but there you go. Um, what else? Uh, I need to check the washer fluid. Again, I don't remember whether I've topped it up or not. I can't see the level, so I'm just gonna fill it up to the top. I'm gonna check the coolant. Again, nothing to do with the MOT, obviously. Um, and then we have, a, we have a screw in the rear tire. So I'm gonna use my, my plug-in kit. I'm gonna take that out, and I think I can see it there. Is that it I can see? So I'll have to move the car to get it in the right. I'm not gonna take the wheel off. I just wanna get the screw to the back so I can get to it. And then I'll use my plug-in kit to, uh, to plug that. Um, that's it, I think, for ready, and then it'd be ready for the MOT. Obviously take the air freshener out because they don't like things hanging from the, hanging from the mirror. Uh, when I get it back from the MOT, again, depending on what the MOT is, I've got to change this. I've got th just this piece with the burns. Again, if I'm selling it on eBay, I probably won't bother. But I have got one in the loft, which hopefully will match color-wise. Should do, but if it don't, then I won't change it. Uh, which is 
because it's got one, two, three, four, four cigarette burns in it, and it's still dirty as well. Um, seeing as I've got one and they're easy to change, it's literally just two bolts. Um, when it's a fixed seat, it's not quite so easy. But uh, yeah, so we'll get that changed as well. Uh, and then it's just continuing to clean on the inside because it is still quite dirty on the inside. It's absolutely filthy, this. Get all this muck off. And things like the uh, <coughs> sun visors, I mean, they're filthy though. Some, I know you probably can't see it. Um, they're absolutely filthy. This car has just been so dirty inside. And no matter, even though I've cleaned it, it's still dirty. The, um, as we know, the potentially a wheel bearing is a bit noisy in this. I got the tools back in, the uh, carpet was soaking wet. And I don't think, there's no water in there, because I was wondering whether there was a, a leak in the aerial or something, but there's no water in this. I don't know where it's got in. I don't know if it was where I cleaned the seats and it got down there. I don't think so, because, reason being, there was mold on, on the tire. And that sort of felty stuff that's on the bottom of the um, boot carpet was absolutely sodden. And I had it in the garage for days and days and it just wasn't drying due to the, obviously the ambient temperature and it's a bit damp and what have you. Um, so I put it indoors and I put it behind the radiator. And even after two days behind the radiator, it still wasn't dry. I put it in my conservatory and just lent it up against the radiator in there for again another day. And it seems to be, it's again today in the living room against, against the radiator rather than down the back of it. Um, but it is almost dry now. So before I go for the MOT, I will put it back in. Um, not for the MOT, but I just when I drive it, I want to see whether that deadens that noise that does sound a little bit like a wheel bearing. If it is a wheel bearing, I suppose I'll have to do it. Uh, and with a rear wheel bearing, I'll probably get Glenn Mechanic to come and do it. So that's what we've got to do. Um, as I say, MOT's at quarter to two this afternoon. Uh, as soon as we get back from the MOT, I will uh, go through with you and we hopefully we'll have a pass. Always a bit of a nervous moment. Um, yeah, so I will see you later on. What an absolute nightmare. So I've taken Pearl down for the MOT. Uh, what I didn't know was one of the roads was closed uh, and this, the traffic going the other way was absolutely solid. So I sat in traffic jam and I ended up having to turn around and go all the way back, all virtually home and then back around the other way um, and then sat in more traffic uh, and ended up getting back to my MOT 15 minutes late. So luckily for me, because um, they don't, they won't do an MOT if you're more than 10 minutes late. Uh, luckily for me, uh, the next one was already there. So they started that one. So it just means uh, I'm gonna have to walk around town a little bit longer. What a nightmare, absolutely. Oh, you can imagine the language. And I drove like the wind when I could. <laughs> drove like I stole it. Gave it a nice Italian tune up whilst I was doing that. Anyway, we'll be back. It's gonna, I've got a kill hour and a half now instead of 45 minutes. So I'll be back as and when, see in a bit. Quite a big bit. Oh well, laters. Right, let's see here. There's the seat base that I was talking about. As you can see, it's absolutely rotten. It's been in the um, been in the loft. I've literally just got it out. So it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> dirty loft. Um, I thought I'd do this today because my nephew's just been round. He spilt a pint of milk over his passenger seat of his Hyundai. So uh, he came round for me to clean it up for him. So I've just done that. Uh, so I've already got this mixed up because I was doing that. So uh, I thought I might as well do it now. I need to check actually, before I do it, I need to check, I mean, I might as well clean it anyway, um, but I need to check just to make sure it is the same level of gray. Let me just go and check. It does actually look slightly lighter, strangely. Yeah, it probably isn't. It's probably just because it's a different age, but I think we might as well change it anyway. It does look a different color, doesn't it? I mean, it looks, again, like all these things, looks worse through the camera. But uh, we'll change it. If it, don't look, uh, if it don't look right, we'll change it back. But I'll give them the option. I'll say, look, we've got this one, which is, which is basically, um, just put these back up there. We've got this one, which has got fag bones in it, or um, you can have that one, which uh, is a slightly different color. I keep, I'm paranoid about mould growing. I'm just checking again to make sure there's no mould coming back. Doesn't appear to be, thankfully. Right, let's get this uh, clean. I'll give it, a, give it a hoover first, and then we'll get it clean. 
and then we'll take it indoors to dry. We, there's no rush to do it, I can put it in at any time, but yeah, let's do it. Right, a few days has passed. Um, as you can see, yet another horrible, damp, raining, nasty, cold, British December day. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do today, um, I, I was gonna give it a service today. Um, uh, I am, I just don't have enough time to do things like that at the moment. I've got two people coming over today. Uh, one of them is, uh, she had a cam belt done by Glenn the Mechanic, uh, and she's been driving at speed on the motorway, and uh, she's got the engine light come up, and the car has slowed down. Now, the answer to that is a phonic wheel relearn. Now, I've never bothered doing one of those, and I've never known it to be an issue. Uh, apparently, it can be an issue sometimes. Um, it's, a, it's a convertible. It's a 500 convertible. It's not an Arbath. Um, no particular reason why that should happen, but I'm going to do that for her. Uh, and then someone else who's coming down this afternoon who um, didn't buy a car from me because I couldn't find one in time. She bought one elsewhere uh, and she can't get her boot open. So I've said to her, it's either your boot handle or it's your hatch wiring. So she's coming down this afternoon for me to have a look at that. I have got another hatch wiring that I've got to do for somebody else. Um, which I promised in the summer that I was going to do it as soon as I could. I still haven't got around to being able to do that. I just do not have the time. Uh, and then also, what was going to come yesterday is now coming sometime today, is um, the mum of um, Project Dickey. The mum of Project Dickey. The mum of the daughter who bought Project Dickey. Um, she said uh, it gets up to about 40 mile an hour and there's a droning noise. Sounds like a wheel bearing. Um, obviously a wheel bearing is not really something that I can do. I don't have the equipment to be able to do that. So, uh, I mean, she bought the car three weeks ago. Um, obviously if the wheel bearing needs doing, I'll pay for it. Uh, I'll get Glenn to do it and I'll pay for it. Um, I know I have the car that says on the invoice, no warranty. Sold as seen, tested and approved. No warranty. Now, I'm not a car trader. You know, this is a hobby. It's registered as a business for tax purposes. I'm not a car trader, I'm not registered as a car trader. Some might say because of the amount of cars that I do, it automatically makes me a car trader. That's possibly true. If, you know, if someone decided to sue me, a court might decide that I am a car trader even though I'm not registered one as, and I probably should be, to be honest, and it's something I'm gonna look at um, probably in the new year, uh, but I will be doing it anyway, um, because that's uh, my customer, you know, that's what I do. Right, just had a message from the lady with the uh, convertible. She's on her way now, coming from Dartford. So she should be here soon uh, for me to do the phonic wheel, look, phonic wheel relearn for her. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Um, I was going to try and get this painting done today. I don't think there's much point in trying because, well, you can see it's wet. It's, it's, it's spitting with rain. It's been raining most of the morning, so I can't really do that. I know I could, I could get the gazebo out and potentially do it under that. That garden umbrella, I've just been to the dump and amongst lots of cardboard and lots of other crap, bits of the old bits of the BMW and stuff, I've finally gone to the dump in the BMW, I hasten to add. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't really do that. I might have a, um, I don't know. It needs to get done. But there are one or two other things I can do on it. I need, oh actually, I need to contact the locksmith because I need to sort out trying to get a remote key done. <clears throat> I need to do that sooner rather than later. Actually, I'll message him in a minute. Um, the car's been standing out on the road for a few days um, and there doesn't appear to be any mould reappearing. It seems to have gone, thankfully. Nothing on the other side either. I've already looked. Um, it is still really grubby inside. It's really annoying me. I'm, I'm going to have to clean these seats again. I was going to nick the door cards off of this, but they're dirty as well. <laughs> so I'm not going to... Um, and I've been looking at door cards because I need a door card for the new project. Um, and the, the one I've got is a different colour of grey, so I can't really use that. So I'm going to, ideally, I'm going to have to buy a pair. Um, and I looked on eBay last night and it seems everyone's selling them individually now. Um, can't, can't buy a pair because it's difficult to tell from the photographs. So I might end up buying one that's the, the same grey as I've got, which is the wrong grey. So that would be a complete and utter waste of money. Um, you know, I could buy a driver's one, hoping that it might match the one that I've got, I and mean, then that might be the same as I've already got. So I really need to buy a pair, so I'll have to look at doing that. Um, so, I mean, there is lots of moisture in the air, still in the air now. It's not raining as such, but it's, as we call in England, it's in the air. 
anyone from England that's watching this will know what I'm talking about when we say it's in the air. What I thought I'd do, talking of door cards, is take the door cards off and see if we can't push out these little bits, that bit, and the one on the other side, the two little pinhole bits on the other side. Uh, that door still needs a little bit of work doing on it, pulling out a little bit more. Now that now I pulled that paint off, I'm a little bit nervous about doing that, although that wasn't pulled off by uh, the slide hammer, that was pulled off by the glue. So I ain't getting no glue on that, that's for sure. This bit up here still needs a little bit of work, but again, bit, being wet like this, I mean, I can dry it off, but with, with moisture in the air, I just don't think the glue's gonna stick. I don't really know what else I can do with that. I might have to leave that. Um, but I'm not gonna see if I can push that out a little bit. Just get a little rod behind it and see if I can't push it out. Just, it's not gonna go right out, obviously, but see if I can improve it. The other thing I've got to do is sort this steering wheel out. I really need to try and sort this out. So I'm gonna rake, rake out the old one. Uh, did I take, I can't remember. Let me just go and grab the other steering wheel. I don't think this was a steering wheel. This was a steering wheel I took off of another car ages ago. If you can see, this is where I bought that stuff long, long while ago, thinking it was gonna be able to patch it up and it looks bloody awful, as you can see. Um, so I've got that, that's complete with buttons. I suppose at least I could try it. Um, the, the wires are all there. So I suppose I could try it and um, see if it works. I mean, I could potentially just change the entire button, couldn't I? Could do that, I suppose. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. But first thing I'm gonna do is with these rods anyway. So uh, I don't know what I've done with the other steering wheel. It's probably in the back of the game. Oh, I can see it actually. I'm not sure if it's got any buttons, but, hmm. Cause I changed the buttons, didn't I? Was it this, was that this car? I think it was this car. I, you know what? I don't know whether it was this car or the previous car. On one car, the button, the color of the buttons was so different. Mind you, that one's quite different as well. That's why I changed them. I can't remember if it was this car or the previous car, or a previous car. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll grab that steering wheel that's up the back of the garage and see if there's buttons on that. I, I can try either of them, both of them. But we'll do that a bit later. First of all, as I say, I'm gonna get these, uh, get the door cards off and we'll see if we can push these dents out a little bit. No, I couldn't, I just couldn't get to that. I could, I suppose what I could have done is drilled in there and got to it that way. Um, but I just didn't really want to do that. So I've given up on that side, I've put that all back together. I'm just getting this side apart. I should be able to get to it. I think I'll have to lower, we'll have to lower the glass. Where is it? Where is it? It's just, oh, the, oh. oh you know what? There's a piece of metal right in the way. I'm not gonna be able to get to it, I don't think. No, there's a, sorry about the camera work. There's a, there's like a rail. It's, I think it's sort of a bit like that a smaller one and it's right in that right where that is oh what a nuisance so i'm not going to be able, I'll, I'll try but I, I think it might be better if i wind the window down i might be able to see it better but i suppose it's part of the strengthening and it, and it runs along there so i don't think i'm gonna be able to get to it that's a pain in the arse i mean that actually i mean there is a little dent there as well yeah there's a dent Sorry, I wasn't even pointing it. There's a dent there, and then it's sort of pushed out here. I don't want to really want to start hammering in there. I'll, go, I'll give it a go, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Bloody nuisance. Right, I'll be back. Right. Couldn't push it out, as I suspected. Um, it was the same thing. Uh, the other side, with that, with that rod, yeah. Could, just couldn't get a rod in there, unfortunately. Um, so uh, what I've done is I've heated it up with a, with a heat gun. I've tapped down a little bit around it, like the crown around it. Um, I've, this is my, I think, fourth go with the tabs. You know, it, it is a bit damp and horrible, um, but you know, I'm warming it up best I can, um, leaving it a bit longer than normal to, uh, to pull off. I am scared of pulling the paint off. I really am scared of doing that. I don't want to do it too much. I think this is going to be in the last go. It has come out a little bit, I think. I think this is going to be my last go. I've been using that. I think I'm going to actually use the um, the slide hammer this time. I'm just scared of pulling the paint off. I don't want to end up with another bit like I've got around the other side. I think once I've done that, I've still got to do touch these up around here. Still got to try and do something with that a little bit, which I've done here, but it's crap. But I think it's, it is what it is. And say if if they if they don't like it, 
when they come and look at it, if they don't want it cheap, it's, it's just going on eBay. And I, then in which case I won't bother doing the brakes. So I might tell them, I need to, I've, I've emailed, I've texted Roy, the, um, the locksmith, and waiting for him to come back to me. Obviously I want to know that the key's gonna work. So I don't really want to tell them they can come and have a look until I know such time as the, the key is working. But then I suppose if they come and look and I can say, look, I'm waiting for the locksmith to sort the key out. Obviously you're not gonna want a car that hasn't, the remote doesn't work. If, the, if a new key doesn't work on it, I'm bashing it out on eBay. Even though I would have spent 140 quid. Unless they want to say, you know, because I will, I will put it on eBay for under two grand. You know, if they say, I, I, and I've told them two, three. So if they come back and they say, well, look, because of that, you know, we'll try and get that sorted. Would you take two? I'll say, yeah. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. So I might, I might, and again, I've not serviced it yet. I've not done the brakes yet or anything like that. Um, I think I'm going to see what they say first when they come and have a look. I thought I looked at those brakes. I'm surprised the MOT has, has brought those up because I did look at them. They looked all right to me. I'll have another look, actually. I'll have a look in a bit. I'm not going to do them today. I'm, I'm just sick and tired of working in this horrible weather. It's just nasty. Uh, right, let's get this other thing on, off, rather, with the, with the slide hammer. And then I'm going to have another little go at that door. And then, even though it is shit weather, I am going to have a go at that, doing that bit of painting. I'm going to warm it up. It's not raining at the moment. I'm just going to spray the least amount as possible just to try and tidy it up. That's all I'm interested in, tidying it up a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, also got to uh, get a screw in there as well and pull that up properly because that's not on properly either. Um, no screw in there, so I just need to do that as well. So uh, I'll be back in a bit uh, and we'll see what the result of it is. So I, um, I tried a bit of a bodge repair on that, I have to say. Uh, so I've lost interest in this car completely. <laughs> um, and I thought, you know, let's just make the best of it. And I, and I did it and I, I rubbed it down a bit um, and I put some paint on it. <laughs> the paint run there were three runs on it and it just looked bloody awful so i thought you know what let's do it in inverted commas properly so i've rubbed it back more with the uh sander uh and i've put some dolphin glaze in because there was slightly still slightly uh a, a, a ding uh so i've managed to fill that as well um i'm just letting that go off there is moisture in the air um not ideal but it is what it is i'm just going to do the best job i can of it um, some good news is I texted Roy, uh, the locksmith, uh, and he texted me back about 15, 20 minutes later and said, I can do it now if you want. Um, that was about 15 minutes ago, so I'm assuming he's en route. Um, don't know if he's coming from another job or he's coming from home, uh, or what, but uh, yeah, he's doing it now. So within the next couple of hours, I, or hour or so, I will know whether this is going to be saleable or whether it's going on eBay. Obviously, I need to pay him for the remote control, regardless whether it works or not. But um, yeah, fingers crossed. I'm I'm quietly confident that it's going to work because I do believe it is the key. Um, we'll see. Um, so yeah, we'll show you this repair when we finished it. I'm not going to go through it. As I said, I'm not. My heart's not in this car now. I just want to get it done to a reasonable, a reasonable finish. Uh, get it all clean on the inside, as clean as I can. Um, if this key works, then I should probably will call the person today and say, look, you can come and have a look at it if you want. Um, whether I service it next week or not, I don't know. But again, all comes down to the key. So I'll come back once uh, we know about the key uh, and we can, uh, we can go from there, I think. So things have moved on slightly. Um, Roy the locksmith has been, came about half an hour ago. We have a key and look what happens. It works. So he got my old key, this one, and he's got a little gadget that measures, detects the, uh, the RF frequency. Uh, and it wasn't registering anything. So he said, yeah, it's the key. Cut me a new one, all works perfect. Um, you may see something that looks a little bit Heath Robinson at the uh, back of the car. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm doing. As you know, it's been raining and, dri and drizzling on and off today so I have rubbed that down properly because I've made such a bodge up of it I've rubbed it down properly I've got some primer in there filler primer um, I put some filler in that uh, just use dolphin glaze um, it's going to be sufficient and I've hooked up this little bit of cardboard here just to protect it should there be any more rain come down so this is the ultimate really 
of making do and doing whatever you can to try and get things to work in all weathers. So not the best of weathers to be doing this in, but needs must. So I've, uh, I'm just going to warm that up a little bit. Um, I've, warmed the, I've warmed the primer up now. I'm going to get the base coat in. I'll get that warmed up. Uh, I'm going to warm up the panel with a heat gun and then we're going to get some paint on it. Don't know what it's going to come out like this. Um, we'll see. It did look as if it was a little bit creamier. It's a little bit more forgiving where it is. I'm not going to mask anything off. I'm just going to do... I'm going to keep the spray to a minimum. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll try and blend it in, see how it looks. But it is what it is. But now I've got a working key. And I have, apart from, well, actually I did go over the seats a little bit, but I've gone in and I've cleaned all the plastics. Um, I did go over the seats as well. They are still a bit dirty. Um, so really, once we get this done, really the only thing I need to left to do, apart from cleaning those seats again, or partially cleaning them or whatever, is sort out that steering wheel. I did find the original steering wheel that was on the car. Um, and as you can see, it looked like that. That was the other one I found, but we found this one. Uh, but the buttons, I've taken the buttons, the buttons are on it and I've taken them out. Uh, and as you can see, we've got them there. Um, so what I might do is rather than take that steering wheel off, I'm gonna take the airbag off and we'll just try changing the buttons. See what that does. If that works, then uh, jobs are good. Un. So I'm just gonna get this painting started. What we'll do once, once we've got this finished, we'll then come back and we'll have a go at the steering wheel. Hopefully we'll get that done today. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure what the time is. I think it's about two o'clock, so we've probably got about an hour and a half. No, it's probably later than that. We've probably got about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes of daylight. So I just want to try and get as much done as I can. If I can get that done, then I can call the lady tomorrow. I know I haven't serviced it or anything like that, but I can call her and say, look, do you want to come and have a look? If you take it unserviced, I might even sell it under pan cheaper. Doesn't particularly need a service, I don't think. But I do, I do still have to chase up a little bit of servicing on it. But um, yeah, enough of this waffle, let's get on with it. Okay, so we've got a first, uh, first coat of base coat on there. Um, okay, what I've done is I've got the original steering wheel and I've actually taken out the controls from the steering, the original steering wheel, which if you remember, I changed. The thing that is causing the problem, I think, is this. They, these, these things seem to be locked and I can't figure out why. So I think that's what was causing it. That one's okay, but these ones are locked in position and it's probably pressing down on, on the source button or something, I don't know. So what I did is I took the ones out of here and although they are a different colour, tough, <laughs> they are, um, they work. I've just tried it, the blue and me works, everything else works, so that's it, sorted. Um, yeah, we'll just have to have slightly different colour buttons, but you know, say la vie. Um, they are in properly, I think, yep. So I'll keep those other bits, because you never know when they might come in handy. Um, but yeah, I've just got to push the airbag back, and we're done. Right, I think that's me done for the day. Oh, excuse me, my voice went all funny then. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've, uh, I've done the best I can. Uh, you can see the repair, but it's, it's not too bad. I haven't, uh, no, I have lacquered it. I put a couple of coats of lacquer on. Um, I will put another coat on. Um, it doesn't look too bad. You can still see the dent a little bit, but it was just a quick, a quick hide up repair. Um, colour, you can see the colour. You can see where the new paint's gone on. There's not an awful lot I can do about that. I will polish it all up that side. I'm not going to polish the whole car, that's for sure. Um, I've got the old air purifier going in there. Uh, I'll leave that. I've got that on a timer for an hour. Always leaves the car with quite a strange smell. Um, you can smell it already, but it's... Uh, it, it's a proper, it will remove odours, remove bacteria. Um, don't think it will kill mould spores, but I have ordered some stuff for that, which I will include in this video as well, um, which will come hopefully uh, in the next couple of days. Um, we'll just spray on the area. Someone recommended it to me, um, <clears throat> and I've ordered a can of that. And then we'll, uh, we might, I might actually put the smoke machine in there as well and freshen it up inside. Uh, I don't often use that, but I think I might use it in this instance. Um, blue and me is all working nice, as it should. Buttons are all working now. Um, the only other bits I've got to do is, uh, is do something with these bits. I did this bit, which I'm going to leave as it is, because it looks a bit crap, but I'm going to leave it. 
Uh, I'm just going to do those bits and then that's going to be it, I think. Um, I'm going to... I did improve that, but you can still see it uh, and it's still got the crack in the paint. I'm not going to try and attempt to do anything with that. It is what it is. Um, this is a cheap runaround. It is going to be mega cheap and I've probably done more than I needed to. Um, you know, we've got a new MOT now. Oh, it's got a couple of advisories on it for the... Uh, the flexi pipe, which I'm not doing anything to, or we'll have a look at it, but I'm not doing anything to it. Uh, and the front brake pads uh, advisory as well, but again, not doing anything to it. You know, I'm probably selling this a thousand pounds cheaper than I would normally. So, you know, chances are the people will come along for, for that sort of money, for 2,300 quid, they'll probably come along and bite my hand off. Oh, I've got to put the new plates on, yeah, I haven't put the new number plates on. But yeah, I reckon they'll bite my hand off. Uh, if they don't, then I will offer it to someone else, cheap. Uh, failing that, it'll go on eBay. Still cheap, but I think because I've got the full MOT and a remote control that works, so I've got three keys, um, I think it's worth more, actually. I could probably ask more than that for it, but I just want to get shot now. Um, yeah. At least I've got that bit of painting done. So I've spent, I say the day, you know, I've been doing other things as well, but... <clears throat> Whether I service it, I think I probably will service it. Uh, oh, I've still got to do that bolt up, so we'll have to come out in the morning and do that. I'm not going to do it now. I've just moved the car out of the way. I'm probably going to give that another coat in a few minutes, uh, and then once that's gone off, we'll, um, I'll still probably stick the car back out on the road for the time being. Yeah, more than likely. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, we'll probably see you tomorrow. Um, and as I say, I'm going to drop a message probably tonight. Uh, and ask them if they want to come and have a look at it. Um, I'm working tomorrow, but I'm on lates and I'm working at home, so uh, that's not too bad. So I can come out here in the morning and just uh, get that bolt in. Um, maybe put the smoke machine in, actually, tomorrow. Yeah, probably will. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Right, morning, welcome back. Uh, it's the following day. Uh, uh, I am working today. Um, it is a little bit... Well, the sun, the sun is trying to break through. Um, this morning, earlier on this morning, it was like something from a Victorian movie set. Low mist, damp, horrible, nasty weather. Good old British weather. Um, so, what are we doing today? Not a lot, because I'm working, um, but not for about another hour and a half. So I thought I'd come out and get the old smoke machine in the car. Um, painting is done. It just needs a polish. You can see it. And you know it, you know what? It, it, I think before the clear had dried, I think it's obviously rained on it a little bit. So hopefully, I can polish that out. I think it probably will polish out, but you probably heard my hand rubbing over it. Then it's rough. So probably, hopefully, a good cut. I'm not going to wet. Shall I wet sand it? I might even wet sand it a little bit. Yeah, I think I will. Going to give it a little wet sand. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to leave that till next week. Um, or maybe possibly at the weekend if I get any time and half decent weather at the weekend. But as I say, I'm going to get the smoke machine out. I'm, I'm sure most of you who've been with me for some time. What have I done with the key? Lost the key. There it is. Sure, some of you have been with me for some time. I'm not using the remote key for some reason. Uh, I've seen me use this smoke machine before. It's got that really weird smell since I've had that um, ozone generator in there. It's a really bizarre smell. It's not, it's not an unpleasant smell. It's just a, I can't describe it. It's sort of a, it's not a chemical smell. It's sort of a clean, it's a cleanish smell, but it's just a funny smell. It's really weird. It's more, it's, it's, I suppose it's a neutral smell. So sort of, I'm not making any sense at all, am I? It's a funny smell, we'll just leave it at that. So I am going to be, I mean, it's killed all the, back, well, it's meant to kill all the bacteria by, uh, releasing all that ozone into the car. Uh, it's something that you have to do, it, I mean, it's meant for use in, use in houses as well, um, smelly ones, and um, you have to do it in a room that's not occupied by someone because it can uh, cause respiratory problems. Um, when I took it out yesterday, I don't, I'm not sure whether it noticed or not, but there was a, there was like a haze, it was almost like there'd been a mist in the, in the car. Um, hopefully that's not a, something that's gonna cause moisture in the car as well, hopefully. That's, that's, we certainly don't want that. So. Yeah, let's get this smoke machine set up uh, and we'll show you it. And if, for those of you who haven't seen it before, give you a little demonstration of what it does and how it works. 
Right, so the fog machine is set up. So what this is, uh, this is basically, um, I was gonna say it's a glorified DJ mobile disco smoke machine. It's not a glorified one. It, it is a mobile disco smoke machine. In fact, back in the days when I was DJing, I used to have something very similar. As you can see, there's tiny little wisps of smoke emanating from it where it's heating up. So what we have is a little remote control here, which is on a wire, which could do with being a bit longer. Um, and I think, I think the green light comes on when it's ready and then you press the button until the green light goes out. Can't remember exactly, I haven't used it for some time, but we'll cross that bridge as and when. So we'll leave it down there for the minute, just wait for it to do that. Oh, has it come up? I think the green light's come up. No, it isn't seeing things. Let's press the button and see what happens. No, nothing yet, it hasn't heated up yet. So you have to let it heat up before you can do anything. Um, but yeah, it's just a fog machine. Um, it comes with lots of different flavours. The one I've used today, which I've never used before, is very cherry. Um, got them all in this box down here. There's loads. I've used, I've used that one quite a... No, I haven't, no, I haven't, yes, I have used that one. Uh, lemon sherbet, that one's quite nice. We've got new car smells, we've got all sorts of smell. I haven't used that one before. Fresh mint, I didn't like the idea of a minty smelling car, so I've not used that one. But yeah. Uh, I bought it on eBay, I think it was. Um, not, not expensive, as far as I can remember. Can't remember, really remember how much I paid for it. Is it heated up yet? No. It takes a little while. Uh, so what it does, so it heats the plate up, you press the button, it then sucks up the fluid, which goes onto the heat plate, which then emits the smoke. Um, as, the, as the heat plate cools down, it stops working. You then have to um, wait again for a a minute or something until it heats up and then you emit more smoke. Obviously you close all the windows on the car, um, you start the engine, you have it on recycle, so that means all the smoke goes into the, um, the ventilation and comes back out again. Uh, so we'll do that, we'll start the car up now. Does it come up? Oh yeah, the light's up, the green light's up now, so that's gonna work. So. What we'll do is we'll go around, we'll start the car, then we'll come back and show you how it works. Right, so we got, we got the fan on recycle. Uh, we've got it on full blast, on hot, air con off. I don't think it really matters. You don't need, really need to have the air con on, I don't think. Uh, we'll just quickly show you. So green light's on, which means it's ready. And when we press that green light, it emits all the smoke. Once you let go of the button, it stops. As I say, oh, what's it smell like? It smells like smoke. <laughs> Don't seem to be much flavour in that. I can't smell anything cherry. I wonder if the smell's gone off. No, I smell it actually. Let me just shut that. You need to make sure the door's shut properly. Let me just put the camera down. Bear with me a second. Right. Yeah, it didn't smell very cherry. I'm wondering if it's gone off or it's just because it's I don't know. But we'll we'll um we'll we'll go through the motions. So I've put I've put the uh, extension lead inside the car um, because it's quite difficult to close the door. So I've just put it in there. Uh, and then the red light came up, so we're now waiting. Oh, the green one's back up again. You're not going to be able to see because it's already quite full of smoke. I was going to. Yeah. So then you look around the car also, see if you can see any coming out. You often see some coming out here. It must get through a grommet somewhere. But it will get to the point where you can't see the steering wheel even through the window. You won't be able to see anything at all. See, there is moisture on the inside of this windscreen. I think that's the, um, I mean, it, it is a very damp day anyway, but I think some of, a lot of that is because of that uh, oxy thing, not oxy, what do you call it? Um, ozone generator, I think it just creates moisture. So it doesn't hurt to have the, uh, the engine on. So we're just waiting for that green light to come on again. Because you can't see the smoke machine, you can't actually see whether it's doing anything which is a bit annoying. So yeah, so I think the red light comes on when you press the button and then when, it, when it's finished with uh, what it can heat up, I think then the red light goes out, if I remember rightly. God, it's such a long time since I've used this. This is trouble, because the car is now, oh look, we got, I oh, know that's on the inside, that smoke. Oh yeah, light's gone out now. So that means, so you let go, let it heat up again. So you can see all the air is coming out of the air vents 
if you can see that smoke it's pushing it all backwards so I can't see and there you see it down there can you see it but you can still see the inside of the car at the moment but once we pushed it a few more times don't think oh yeah this is up there's some leaking out here out the boot oh hang on is that it's leaking out or is that looks like it's leaking out there which would no it's not it's coming out from down here somewhere so that would tell you that that seal was not fantastic there because there's definitely smoke leaking out there it's not exhaust fumes that are pluming up and the other side as well never seen it coming out there I've seen it other places so I imagine it's probably where the boot closes it's probably not a, not a brilliant seal Or is there some coming? I can see bits of smoke. Let's press the button again. We've got the green light up. Now you do this until you get bored, really. <laughs> um, and just leave it in there. I, I tend to leave it all in there for about half an hour. Leave it, leave it running for about half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour. And then hopefully it will smell nice. If, if it doesn't, I will, um, I'll try a different flavor. So I've not used that one before and it does smell, it smells very cherry, but for whatever reason, it didn't when I first stuck my head in there. Right, there has, <laughs> there has been some uh, smoke getting out, smoke getting out here as well now. It's been going for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, oh, I'm gonna, that's my light, actually I'm gonna do one more. The green lights come on, I'm gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna unplug it. And uh, we'll leave it another five minutes or so. Uh, look at it coming out there now. What, it's funny, isn't it? All of a sudden, it started coming out there. It wasn't before. Um, just that last go and then uh, we'll leave it about five minutes and then we'll open the door and we'll come back and we'll show you it all bellow out or even below right that's the last one okay so I'm gonna unplug it unplug the extension lead from here uh, and yeah we'll come back when we open the door and you'll see it all billow out right it's about another five minutes has passed uh, so I'm now I am going to open the door so watch this Woo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Does it smell? Doesn't smell very cherry, I have to say. Doesn't smell very cherry at all. And that will continue to billow out for a little while. In fact, let's open the boot up as well. <laughs> Actually, what is a good idea is to remove that to allow it better bit late now but um yeah no I can't say that smells of cherry at all that's really strange I wonder why I might I might come out here later in uh, lunchtime and do uh, do another one Ooh. yeah that's really weird I have had it a while but it does I say the concentrated fluid does smell of cherry but it's taken away the still still puffing out gas gas smoke hopefully not gas um, it's taken away that funny smell but it doesn't smell of anything it certainly doesn't smell of cherry so yeah it's still oozing out from so it gets into every nook and cranny so we'll leave that open to air out for a little while stop the engine got plenty of petrol in there okay, as I say we'll come back out at lunchtime and give it another go Right, we've got it back in again. We have now got in sherbet lemon. Um, so, the, the, I say, the, the, the funny smell's gone in there, but it's not flavoured at all. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd run the sherbet lemon through. I don't know if it's just because they're old and they're not working very well. So I've had, them, I've had these a couple of years now, a good couple of years. Um, but I say, they, still, they smell fine in the bottle. And the one I've put in there now, the sherbet lemon, I've used before, so... Um, I know I know that it would the only thing I can think of is because I've used that um, oxy I keep calling it oxy the um, ozone generator that that is neutralizing the smell that might be the case because it does neutralize smells and if that ozone is the car is still full of ozone then it might be neutralizing it so what I might have to do is, is if this doesn't work then what I'll do is I'll leave it um, till just before I sell it and um, and I'll use it again but that could well be the reason because you know part of using an ozone generator is because it neutralizes smells um 
I just thought it would have sort of, you know, dispersed by now. But um, we'll see. So I'm just waiting for that to warm up again uh, and we'll give it another go. And then we'll come back once we've done it and um, hopefully there might be some, uh, some smell in there. So I mentioned that someone had recommended uh, a product to get rid of um, mold to, to kill the, uh, the bacteria. Uh, and he recommended this stuff. Um, he said he's had some good success with this. So, uh, uh, liberally spray onto previously vacuumed carpet fabrics and leave to dry. This product should not be used alongside disinfectants or sanitizers, as this will disable active enzymes with enzyme odor eater. So, um, obviously, I have used, I haven't, I've used, um, I haven't used disinfectant sanitizers. So. Is el would that be included elbow grease? Because I have used some elbow grease on it. And of course I've also uh, cleaned the carpets. Whether that would be, uh, hopefully not, but we shall see. So we shall use that afterwards. Um, I'll probably do that, oh, just got to do another spray. We'll probably do that um, tomorrow when this is all um, finished or the day after tomorrow, whatever. When this is all hopefully nice and smelly inside, but we'll just uh, spray that on it just for a bit of peace of mind to hopefully um, not um, not have any mould growing back. And up to now there isn't any mould growing back, which is good, but uh, hopefully we can keep it that way. Um, got this on Amazon, uh, he sent me the link to it. Uh, I will put the link of this in the description if you want to get yourself some. It wasn't expensive, about eight quid, something like that. I think it was seven, eight quid. Um, yeah, if, if you've got a mould problem, try it. Obviously I've not tried it yet, but um, uh, the person who told me about it swears blind that it's, uh, it works a treat. So that's good enough for me. Right, it's been going for a while now, so uh, I'm just going to give it one more, one more go. Still leaking out there. I suppose it would, wouldn't it? It's compromising the rubber, isn't it, there? Nothing leaking out the back like it was before. Strange. Anyway, one more go, uh, and then we'll open the doors. Okay, let's uh, open the door. Oof. Oof. Oh, blood's come out. Look at that. <laughs> if you didn't know, you'd think the car was on fire. Oof. Let's open the boot as well. I took the shelf off this time. We. It takes a while for it to disperse. Oh, it smells better. I still don't smell very not very fragrancy, I have to say, for some reason. Something vibrate in there. Right, let's um, turn the engine off. Yeah, still not very fragrancy. It's a very noisy fan on number four. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not fragrancy at all. Well, that was a waste of time. I mean, it, it, again, it deodorises, but then we've already done that. Um, I reckon it is, you know, because normally I don't use that uh, oof, smoke. I don't use this, at, uh, you know, just after I've used the um, the ozone generator. So I reckon that's what's causing it, you know. I reckon the ozone generator is still in the air, or the ozone is still in the air. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's getting rid of the smell. Interesting. When I come to do the next car, I'll use just this and see what happens. Yeah, it's really weird. So I'll leave it before I put an air freshener in there. I will leave it because <laughs> there's no point, is there? So I'll just leave that to air for a minute uh, and then that will be it. So um, yeah, we'll come back just when the, uh, within the next few days, we'll come back, we'll get that, um, that wheel arch cut and polished. Uh, and then we've got to put the bolt in the wing. And I think then, as soon as I've done that, I will contact the person and say, look, Still needs a service, but if you want to come and have a look, let's change this seat, because I think it's slightly slightly lighter grey. I showed you earlier on, I think, on this video. It's a very slightly lighter grey, so... The other thing I can do is I could try and repair them, because I have got some material the same, same colour, um, and I've got the glue. So I might even give that a go. I might try on the back, because I have, I have done it before, because we've got this little one here as well. Got that well, so big one there and a little one there. So I might try doing those first and seeing how they come out actually. And if it comes out any good, 
I might try giving these a go. This one's got one, two, three, four. That one's got one, two, only two on the driver's seat, but they are still dirty. Oh, I don't know. It is what it is, I suppose. I'm, I'm, I'm going so far with this car, it'll almost be a perfect car. Had it been a perfect car, um, I would have um, changed the seats, of course. But uh, I'm still in two minds about these brakes, whether to bother with them or not. Because they don't, I don't feel that they need doing, but as, as I said before, I still need to get the wheel off. So we'll have a look at that later on next week anyway. Um, we'll make a decision as to whether to do them. Anyway, I will uh, see you next week. Right, okay, so we're back again. A few days have passed yet again. Um, I, I, I had intended, or sort of intended, to get this uh, everything on the last video, so I'm not sure whether I will or not, because the video's starting to get a little bit long now, uh, so I ought to stop waffling straight away. Um, so, right, we've got to get that bolt done up in the, in the wing there and get that closed up a little bit. Um, we've got to change both bulbs in the heater panel. Both, neither of them work. Um, I've got to wet sand this and polish it. It don't look fantastic, but I'm just going to do the best I can with it. Uh, I've got to change the radio aerial. I, uh, it's a really crap signal, so I'm going to change that. Um, I've, I've got, I don't know which type it is, so I've already got one type, so I bought the other type. Um, I don't know which one it's going to be. I've got to change the number plates. Uh, I have also, I say got to service it. I think it needs a service. Um, as you can see, it's water on the ground. I don't really want to be rolling around in puddles again like I did doing bottom arms before. Um, but I might do it. I might do it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that, I think that's all I've got left to do. I'm sure there'll be other things. Oh, it's, it's still a bit smelly inside, but I think it's more of the ozone generator smell rather than anything else. So I'm going to stick an air freshener in there now because I was sort of hoping that might have faded away a little bit by now. So I'm going to stick an air freshener in there. Um, I still don't know what to do about these seats particularly. I can't clean them when the weather's like this. It's just stupid. Um, I might try and repair, as I mentioned earlier, I might try and patch repair that seat. Um, I still need to put that other seat, which I've cleaned, against that properly just to see if it is lighter which i think it is um that this seat belt is still a bit stiff um i don't know whether this has been replaced by someone so it may be the fact that this is too close so i'm going to remove that bolt i'm going to i've got old spare ones of these things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i've done this before when seat belts have gone sometimes it causes a little indentation in this um in this um c panel here um so i'm going to take it off so I don't know if it's the belt or if it's just getting stuck here. So I'm going to take it off, put one of my spare ones in, and then you, when you take this bit off, you can get a jemmy underneath and you can bend it up a little bit, which pulls it a little bit out. Enough. Sometimes you can just undo the bolt slightly and it's just enough to stop it pinching, but we'll do that as well. But I'm going to do those bulbs first. I'm not going to film all of this. We'll get as much of it done as we can and then we'll come back. Right, that's, um, that's the bulbs done. Uh, in the centre panel, it took like two minutes to do that. Um, something else I forgot that I was going to do, uh, and someone did ask me if I could show it on the video, and I, as much as I will, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it on the video in time lapse, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video. So I've already got a video out there on the channel for uh, changing an earth strap, uh, and I will link to that at the end of this video, and I will put a link above now. Uh, but I'm also, as someone suggested, rather than replacing an earth strap, which might be perfectly okay, put another one in, put an additional one in. So I'm going to do that. So, as I say, I'm going to do a separate video for that. So if you want to watch that separate video, I can't link to it yet, because of course I haven't filmed it yet, but I will put it in there at some point when I, um, once I've done it uh, and this video goes out, it will be at the end of the video somewhere. Um, but I'm going to do that now. I think I'm going to do that first. So uh, yeah, I'll set you up and I'll say, we're going to do it on time-lapse, but we will have a separate video uh, on how to do it. So uh, yeah, let's go, let's do it. Absolutely throwing it down with rain and there's thunder as well. <laughs> but I'm still doing it under my gazebo. 
as you can see the uh, dusk till dawn lights on the garage have come on and so have the solar ones on the wall up there it's like the middle of the night virtually oh my god uh, yeah so I'm, I'm just going to put the new number plates on for the time being uh, well at the front one can't do the rear one um, I've actually got someone coming around in about 10 minutes to do uh, put a new rear hatch handle on for her so I'm going to have to move the gazebo when she gets here so it covers her car up unless the rain stops it is only meant to be showers but it has been doing this on and off all day so uh, yeah I'm not going to get too much done I'm going to do that do that bolt down there as well um, I have got that seat out oh hear the thunder I have got that seat out but um, I don't want to bring it out because it will get soaking wet between the back door and here uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that as and when it stops raining okay so I'm losing the light as you can see um, the lady came for me to do a hatch um, handle uh, I put it on didn't work uh, it was uh, I thought the, the other the other thing that it might be is a hatch wiring uh, I cut back slightly on the rubber grommet and exposed every single wire was stripped of its insulation and three wires including the thickest brown and white wire which I think I'm not sure what that one is can't remember what that one is it might be the um yeah no I don't know actually I don't know what that is but that one a green one and a white one were completely separate uh it took me ages to try and get it all soldered up adding little extension wires in just a temporary repair so I've got to do that for her at some point so I've got to get a, 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 a wiring loom and repair that for her um, in the coming weeks probably going to be after Christmas potentially probably now um yeah so uh, I think I'm going to end the video here uh, as we've still got plenty to do on this car no not plenty to do we haven't I've just put the number plates on um, I've got to do that bolt up I've got to do the aerial I've lost the light now it's been pouring rain most of the day um, so the aerial uh, and still potentially the service but I think I might actually message the woman now and say look it's virtually done if you want to come and have a look at least I know then whether she wants it or not and then maybe next week I can get this finished um, on my normal days off I've taken a day off today to get it done but because of the other car and then the one that's just been um, and I didn't really I didn't earn any money doing that either because I bought the handle for her I said look if it's not the handle I'll keep the handle because at some point in the future I'll need one so it's cost me 70 quid uh, yeah batteries you ran out then um, I've got new batteries they still don't last very long uh, uh, yeah as I was saying yeah so um, uh, yeah because of what I had to do today um, I've run out of time it's dark I've got to do the aerial still um, I'll need daylight to do. I can't do that in the bloody dark by torchlight I had to do a hatch wiring by torchlight to a degree underneath the gazebo because it was absolutely throwing it down when she got here but temporary repair anyway is done on that so there's a few bits to do as I say I might give the lady a ring if she wants to come and have a look um, and then I can finish it off next week it, there's not really much to do I've got to service it possibly I've got to do the brakes which I don't think I'm going to do I'm selling it cheap enough that if she wants to get the brakes done she can pay for it to get them done um, because I'm selling it at least a thousand pounds cheaper than I would do otherwise so I think I don't think I bother doing it they were all right when I looked at them they were fine so I'm um, I know this video is getting a little bit long so I just don't want to go bang on for too long uh, and make this over an hour it's probably approaching an hour now even if it hasn't gone over an hour um, so I will see you next time on this and we'll get this finished and then we can obviously let you know um, when it's sold um, I'll be glad to see the back of this one to be honest with you it's been a bit of a pain um, so yeah so if you're not a subscriber as always don't forget hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up -ding, and we will see you on the next one on this car will potentially be after Christmas don't know we'll see but uh, I'll see you before Christmas so I won't wish you Merry Christmas yet because we've got another week and a bit yeah so until the next one as always don't forget take care stay safe and we will see you very soon